Yesterday I had an insatiable urge to tidy the house. Not just tidy, but to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. I had a whole bunch of textbooks that I never use and have never been able to sell, just piling up in my office. Do I get any benefits from these books? No. Do I get joy from hanging on to them? No. When was the last time I actually picked one up to consult it for information? It would literally be years ago. Do the books cause me stress every time I look at them? Yes. So yesterday, I went through all of them and got rid of the ones that I had no intention of using. I donated them to the local Lifeline. While I was at it, I also decided to go through all of the children's toys. There were toys everywhere, not only in the playroom, but in the kitchen, the study, and the bedrooms. I told the kids, right, we're going to clean up and donate all the toys that we don't use anymore, or throw out the ones that are broken. Actually, my son was quite excited about the whole idea. To be fair, most of the toys were given to us from friends and family, so had already had previous owners, so we were basically just paying them forward. It was a delight, and I really feel good in at least decluttering some of the house. Marie Kondo, Japanese author and organizing consultant, has made a living from helping people declutter. She has a TV show on Netflix called Tidying Up. Not that I've ever seen it, but I certainly like the idea of it. In it, she goes around helping families declutter their homes and bringing joy to their lives using her KonMari method. The whole idea of the show is to only hang on to stuff that actually sparks joy. If you have things in your life that cause anxiety and stress, then it only makes sense to get rid of them. And the very act of donating things can make you feel good as well. Charity groups in Australia are reporting a 38% increase in donations year on year as many of us get rid of all the books, clothes and furniture that don't spark joy in our lives. When I was at Lifeline yesterday, the car park was full. There were people everywhere donating bags of books, toys, household items and old clothes. It was quite amazing really. But it could also be an indicator that Australians are just simply buying too much stuff and need to get rid of it all. It doesn't necessarily mean that people are actually decluttering their lives. So what are the benefits of tidying up? Well, research has shown that our physical environment can significantly influence our emotions, cognition and behaviours, which can ultimately affect our relationships with others. Disorganisation can have a cumulative negative effect on our brains. Our brains are an order-loving machine. They like things to be predictable and structured. When we are constantly dealing with visual disorganisation such as office clutter, it takes a real toll on our cognitive ability. This can reduce our working memory, reduce our ability to focus, and decrease our productivity. Clutter is bad for us. 2009 research from the United States showed that mothers had higher levels of the stress hormone cortisol when they lived in a cluttered home environment. This led to a constant low-grade fight-or-flight response, draining their resources which should be reserved for survival. It can affect our ability to fight off diseases, leaving us with increased risk of diabetes and heart disease. Constant stress is not a good thing. Other research has shown that people who live in a messy environment are more likely to eat a chocolate bar than an apple, leading to weight gain. Clutter can make you fat. Other studies have shown that people that live in cleaner environments tend to be more physically active and fit. There is certainly some sort of correlation between your physical environment and your health. But clutter isn't necessarily always bad. Some research has shown that having a messy desk tends to increase one's creativity. Neat, ordered environments are characteristics of people who tend to conform and stick to expectations, while messy environments are often associated with people who like to break with the norm and try things in a new way. But is there a dark side to decluttering? Some people have reported feelings of regret. They threw away a lot of books only to later miss them. It wasn't too much of a problem in that they could buy them again, but the cost can be prohibitive. Others have said that feelings of regret have led to them hating getting rid of stuff. Instead of their houses becoming tidy, the opposite has happened. Fear of regret has led to them becoming hoarders instead. Some couples have found that decluttering has hurt their relationships. Partners often disagree with what should be thrown out and what should be kept, leading to further arguments and further stress. If decluttering causes stress, then it probably isn't a wise thing to do. 
Others have commented on the key aspect of only keeping things that bring you joy. Consequently, we have people jokingly saying that they'll have to throw out their treadmills, mirrors and vegetables, none of which bring them joy. Of course, with any craze, there's going to be positives and negatives. Some people will take things too far and throw out things that their children actually need or want. Husbands will throw out household items that one week later their wives will actually be looking for. I think, as with anything, moderation is the key. There's no reason to live like a pauper if it's only going to cause you stress. But on the other hand, there's no use owning 30 pairs of shoes if you only ever wear five. Decluttering your environment can be good. It can energize you. It can make you feel like you're in control of your environment. And it can even give you a little bit of exercise. Yesterday, while decluttering, I was actually quite exhausted by the end of it. Carrying boxes full of books to the car, cleaning up room after room, it was a good workout. Anyway, if you're feeling stressed by all the clutter in your life, maybe it's a good time to try a bit of cleaning up and donating all those things that you never use. Hanging on to things that bring you joy and throwing out things that cause you stress is probably good advice. What are your thoughts on decluttering? Have you tried Maria Kondo's KonMari method? Did it bring joy to your life? Do you have any regrets? Have you become a hoarder because of it? Let me know below.